Welcome to the channel. I'm glad that you could make it. Welcome. Enjoy. I hope your day is going well. It is another beautiful day that the Lord has made. The snow turned into freezing rain, which turned into regular rain, which turned everything into a mud pit. So, uh, yeah, luckily we get to do things not in the mud and we can fin finish up that fender. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, so since last time, I got the uh, paint ground off here and we kind of cleaned up the edges and I actually already tried this. And I mean, I just, I grabbed it by hand. It, it bent super easy. So I did mark a line just to kind of give me an idea, but that's where I put the two by four and it just bent up. So what I need to do now, well, and so I just bent it up to this angle. So that sits on there perfectly. It's the same you know, angle of the dangle. And I just need to get this side bent up and then we need to figure out what to do about width. Because as you can see, this one angles in. So the width here at the top of the forks is thinner. So we're gonna have to notch something or whatever, but let me get that side bent up and uh, well, I got it all cleaned up so I could probably tack it into place, but I haven't decided yet if I want to leave it that width or make it thinner. I, I don't know. So let me get this bent up and then we'll kind of take a look at it and see what we think. All right, so here we go. We got both of them bent up, same angle. That one, well, when we put it on before, we measured this one before backwards, it, uh, it kind of hit the skid plate. So that might have to come up a hair, but we can deal with that later. Um, however, I'm just, I'm stuck on this idea of keeping it flat. I don't know why. I, I don't know. I don't know why. It just, to me, I want to keep it flat in my head. So I'm going to try and keep that flat. However, let me get you down here and show you. We have a pretty good amount that we are going to have to cut out of here to make it fit into in between like the forks um but that's why i said we cut big and we can slowly remove whatever we want at least that's how i like doing things um but if you look there's a ridge right here on both sides when this is lined up and that's actually the ridge right where it bends so we can kind of have we have that mark going there but we're just gonna have to kind of follow it. So what I need to do now is uh, make some more marks and see where we kind of need to cut some of the stuff off because I don't know if I wanna kind of bend up the edges or I really wanna leave it flat. I don't know why, but for some reason I wanna leave it flat and it's just in my head. So when I get stuck an idea, that's kind of how it just goes. So. We'll see what I can do. Let me mark up some stuff and I think we're gonna have to cut some more stuff up before we can start folding it or I could always notch it and bend it in for the tubes, but then there's other stuff that's gonna get in the way and it'll go in sideways, eh, just a huge mess. So let me mark up some more cause we're gonna do some more cutting on this thing. All right, so after staring at this thing for an hour and rethinking all the decisions I have made in my life, I have come to the conclusion, we're gonna cut this off. We're gonna cut it here, cut it here. This is all, that's going away, that's going away. This lip's going away because I'm gonna try and roll this edge up on both sides and this is gonna to have to be a little bit indented. But, uh, well, you'll see. So let's get it cutting.
the cuts are made. Uh, I notched it in a couple places. It's, it's hard to see from this angle, but anyways, it's been notched and there's a little notch over here too. So that way I can try and bend it up to give this curve. I want to leave it flat across the top, I think. I mean, I don't know. I guess, guess we'll see. We might get carried away with it, but I at least need to bend it up. And then this piece is going to bend up in the center as well. And it should then resemble somewhat of that shape. So that way we can kind of get it on ducky and just make sure that, uh, you know, it kind of fits in between. But it'll fit. There's no reason why it won't. And then we'll kind of decide where we want to go from there. So let me just, I mean, I can do it by hand. This is just, it's just sheet metal. It's no big deal. So let me just kind of get this bent up and eyeballed into place because... There has not been a tape measure put onto this thing yet. So uh, let's get it bent up and then see what it looks like. All right, here's what we got. So it's all curved, kind of curved here, curved here. It's still flat across the top, flat here. So now what we need to do is try and stand around in the mud and see if we can't fit this on Ducky just to kind of get an idea where we need to go. I mean, I'm sure this is going to have to be bent a little more maybe. I I don't know. So let's get this put on Ducky and just see exactly what it looks like. All right. Before we even try and put the metal fender on, I was looking at this and this is where the fork is. And that's where, you know, the bolt holes are to bolt it on. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to first try and just peen it a little bit in the center on the metal fender so that way we get better clearance and uh, then we'll try and fit it on. All right, so you can see I did a little ball peen action on here, here and on that side too. So uh, let's see if it fits on there. Probably something like that. Oh, that's not bad. I can get you, there you go. Well, let me get you in here. We can tip it down a little bit, but wow, that's that's really not that bad. Let's see. Let me get you guys in here. So it's looks like it's clearing here. Yeah, that's. It's really not that bad. I guess it could come down a little bit in the front. Oh yeah, if you there's a gap here, so it needs to. Uh, yeah, it's tight here, so it actually will come down a little bit in the front. Um, yeah, that's not bad. I mean, I have some trimming to do here, but that's clearing nicely in there, and it's just yeah, it's only tight at the top here. Yeah. Hey, that's really not that bad. And it actually, from the front, I mean, that does, <laughs> it kind of looks factory, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know. You might not, no one will know. Maybe no one will know. I mean, it's shiny red, but I got to primer it anyway. So that'll take care of that. It's, yeah, I mean, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think you might even know. I, I don't, I mean, yeah, you'll know up close, but well, I guess uh, it, that's nice. That's, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so uh, I need to start tacking things together. And uh, yeah, these holes, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna weld them shut and then uh, we'll just grind them smooth. I mean, I guess I could leave them there, but it's really not that big of a deal, at least not to me. And we have plenty of clearance here at the skid plate I mean right we're like I can get my fist in there so we're good there we got clearance here and it is yeah it is towed up a little bit but that's fine I mean yeah and then I noticed on the inside of the fork here was actually a hole like a little dowel hole that probably the plastic fender I imagine you know you bolted it here and then it had like a little tab that stuck in the inside to keep it from you know, wibble wobbling. So uh, I'll have to 
figure out where that lines up and drill a hole and, and put something in there just to keep the fender from doing that. But uh, yeah, well, let me get this thing all tacked together and kind of ground down and cleaned up and then uh, I won't bore you with eh, 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 eh. So uh, yeah, when I come, when you come back, I'll have that all tacked up and cleaned up. All right, welding, done. Grinding, done. Primer, done. Is it perfect? Nope. Is it good enough for who it's for? Oh yeah, definitely good enough for what it's going on. Um, yeah, I, yeah. So anyways, let's try and fit this thing up. Um, you can see I, I welded in the holes, I just ground it. I didn't do any sanding, I didn't do, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but let's try and get this thing on and just see how it fits and works. And we kinda, I did a little more trimming over here just to, you know, get it to fit nice, but let's bolt it on and make sure everything looks good. All right, it's on and it is looking good. I mean, come on, that, it's almost, it looks factory, it almost looks factory. So <laughs> the wagon turned out to be a pretty good idea for the front fender. So if we look down here, I mean, we still have plenty of room between the skid plate, and I know, I'm sorry, the sun is just screwing everything up, but it is what it is. So we got plenty of clearance there, no problem, nothing hits, we're good. You can see my sharp bends. I thought about, I almost started hammering it, because I started hammering out some of the dents and stuff, and uh, I was gonna curve it, but then I started looking at, you know, the rest of like the body lines on it, and like, you know, this is curved, right? But then you come up here and just squares right off, and these are squared off edges. So I think it's kind of fitting. I think it kind of fits with it to have everything, you know, rounded, right? And then this is rounded, but then it also has the square kind of, I don't know, I, I think, I think it's fitting. I, I mean, we can still, it's only primered, so we can still hammer it and we could actually smoothen it out if we really wanted to. But uh, I'm, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. I think it kind of fits just everything about the three-wheeler, everything about Decky, this fits with it. And, you know, I could trim it out and it's actually bigger than the factory fender was, but I don't, I don't think I mind. And, and yes, the front rack does still fit on. It didn't, I didn't do anything with that, but I, I think I'm just going to see where we go with this because I, I kind of like it. I mean, I don't really need the rack. I have the rack. It's only four bolts to put it back on. But, um, so how I mounted it was I actually, you can see in here, made spacer for each side to keep it from hitting the headstock. And then those little tabs that we had in here, I just found a zip screw. I think it's a, I think it's a size 12, it could be a 10. Uh, two zip screws that actually fit almost perfectly into the little hole they had there. And I just ran them in. So let's see if we can, I mean, it's sturdy. And the other nice thing, it being metal, is I hit something and bend it, it's just sheet metal. So we can kind of bend it back into shape and it's not gonna shatter like, you know, plastics do. So what I wanna do now is go take it for a little rip and see how well it does with keeping the mud off of everything because I had some ideas about doing louvers or something in it, but I don't know. We'll, let's just go take a little rip and we'll see how it works.
right, that was fun. I, I really, I really like this three-wheeler. So nothing hit, nothing smashed. Everything seems to be solid, you know, I mean, it's, it's good. Nothing hits here, you know, you turn handlebars, nothing hits. And it's really, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, for, for what it is, that doesn't look bad, especially if we can a little red paint on it. Um, but I need to, this is bare metal. This has been bare metal since we bought it. So we need to start working on that too. But um, yeah, that's, I, I'm going to call that a win. Um, like I said, we have the rack and stuff, but I don't know. I kind of, I don't know. I might make something to go here, but I don't know. I mean, we have the rack if we ever need it, but I kind of, I think this is going to be more like trail riding than, you know, for work utility. But uh, yeah, so that turned out good. Our plastics held up nice, seats good. And to uh, the few comments I got when I welded this up, they said first hill, pothole, jump, something like that, it's gonna break right off. So, well, I just was launching around through the woods and uh, no cracks. Yeah, nothing. So, um, that was a lie. So anyways, uh, everything held up good. I mean, it doesn't hit the skid plate. I, I'm going to call it a win. So, um, hey, till next time, be blessed and peace.